Hi everybody, just um, stopping by today to show you these, these Chinese lanterns uh, which are made with a little string of LED lights which are made by a company called Onfuru. Um, I'll put the Amazon link in the description box below. These, um, this is part of a hop run by uh, or organised by Nina Ribena from Nina Ribena and Kyla Koo's Mixed Media Emporium on Facebook. Um, and she made some, uh, or decorated some really beautiful bottles just before Christmas with these uh, little LED lights and um, decided that she was going to do a hop. So uh, she did a hop and a giveaway. So um, yeah, I've got the, um, got the lights. I've uh, got the camera <laughs> and you're about to see all the action. So uh, yeah, I'll show you how to make these little origami lanterns and I've made them out of printed uh, tracing paper. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Um, please hop along and see all the other videos which um, Nina will have linked in the description bo box below hers. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Please uh, like subscribe and comment if you do enjoy it and um yeah see you at the other end bye for now try again so the materials you're going to need to make these little um japanese lanterns or chinese lanterns oriental lanterns even are um, one of the strips of lights um the which are listed in the description box below um you will need some i've used tracing paper you could use parchment paper or any paper that actually has some transparency to it or that the light's going to shine through um, and uh, so I can get a couple of squares out of this I've um, I've made the squares to fit the paper rather than the other way around so um, I've cut this to five and a half and by five and a half and this makes the little lanterns this size which I think for the size of the light is is enough so that's that so um yes yeah, so you need uh, you'll need a paper trimmer your paper I've used this uh, very cheap uh, tracing paper and um, what I did was I just printed this which I found on Etsy. No, no, I didn't find, find it on Etsy. I found it's a, a free download from, um, I believe, Pinterest. Uh, I made a, a Japanese junk journal um, just before Christmas, and I found a lot of these papers uh, on a museum or library websites for free usage and this was one but it was also I think on Pinterest um, although I couldn't be absolutely sure so there's lots of them uh, around that you can print this went through my printer without any problem at all and as you can see it's, it's nice and flat um, so that's what I've used you could also use um, some parchment paper if you've got some uh, but this is uh, obviously a, a less expensive alternative and as I say I've cut those into five and a half inch squares but if you want bigger lanterns then um, you can make your squares bigger six inches I think is probably about ideal but um, I, as I say I wanted to get two two squares out of one sheet of paper you need some scissors um, you will need some double-sided tape um, and I've got some score pal tape here um, and it's to make some tape out of the paper which I've used just to seal the hole on the top and I found with that you could stick it fairly easily and it's quite unobtrusive and I'll show you how to um, put the lanterns on when we've made one. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to make a lantern, but I'm going to use a sheet of a large sheet of paper, simply because um, it'll be easier to show you 
and I've got a 12 inch square here so you'll be making them at about half or less than half the size so what you do to start with is you fold it fold it corner to corner like so and fold it and you'll obviously have a right and a wrong side uh, of your paper you can make it with origami paper sheets if you want because they're quite quite thin and would be quite transparent so i'm just going to stop that noise because um it's my work phone and um i'm now off duty but i've been working from home Okay, so the next thing is to fold it corner to corner, like that, and corner to corner, like that. Um, try and keep it as accurate, accurate as you can. The more accurate, <laughs> the more accurate, accurate you are, the um, smaller the hole in the top will be, and neater. So. Then what you do is you pick up these two pieces here, these two folds, and fold them in. Let me show you that again. You want to push these two sides in, that one like that, and this one. So you've then got a triangle um, with the board part behind, um, in front of you. Turn that upside down and take these loose corners and fold them down to the point at the bottom on both sides. Like that. You turn it over. Do the same on the other side, trying to keep it as neat as you possibly can. Then again, you turn it over so you've got your loose pointy bits at the top. Then you fold in these corners here, both sides. being as accurate, I could say now, accurate as you can. And then same on the other side. Like that. Now again you should have these pointy bits at the top, not the folded edge, the pointy bits like that. Then the next thing you need to do is open that bit there slightly and fold this in. And you'll have a little bit left out there because when that folds like that, So that's that side and now turn it over and do exactly the same. Now um, you can fold them first if you find that easier. So fold them so they line up with the, the side edge there. Find the hole and pop it in. Put that down again. Find the hole and put that in. So you know it should now have something that looks a bit like that. The top is where the hole is. So 
so these bits go at the bottom. Open up your corners. Now, and I shouldn't advocate this at the moment, but it's the easiest way to do it, as you blow in that hole there. <laughs> because this one's bigger and tougher than the other ones I was doing, I can't do it. <laughs> you can do it by you. Opening it out a bit like this. And it unfolds down. Now I've torn the, the hole at the top. You see what I mean about the hole in the top getting too big? Paper and smaller lanterns. Oops. It is the easier to open them out. <coughs> Excuse me. Like that. The little ones will look much better, like this. Move those out of the way. And again, you do the... Start with the right side up. Then half that way. In the half that way. In the half that way. There are um, quite a lot of uh, tutorials how to do this, and they may well be better than mine. Um, I just searched for. origami lantern so now you've got uh, got it folded in half both ways you fold those two bits see how much easier it is with a small piece of paper um, fold these And then with your little pointy bits, you find if you just push that, you usually find the gap. It's like in. big hands so it's I'm probably obliterating your view and 
on um, Pinterest also you might find a step-by-step -step guide in pictures how to do this so there we are there's our little lantern unfold it blowing it and you've <laughs> it's that easy um, when they're little and the paper's fairly thin so you can just hide it up a little bit being very careful with um, a pokey tool or something similar but mind you don't push it right through the paper as I have done on a couple of occasions and there is your little lantern now the next thing <coughs> is how to put it onto your string of lights. I've used two lights in each because I didn't want a huge long strip of them. You could do one in each lantern but I found that those ugly looking things out of the way, um, I found that they were then a little bit close together so I preferred the gap you could um, you can join two together if you want a longer a longer row of lanterns so in this one get the next one and the full on one and put pop them together do a little not don't use the loop do a little twist there fold this bit back and twist it and leave a little loop so I've done that on this one in the same manner so what I'm planning to do obviously practice because this hole is much smaller than the last ones I did is pop it through the hole and also put this bit through the hole because it helps to keep the little lights inside right. then the next thing I did was I used some of the off cuts of the <coughs> paper that I printed And I put some double sided tape on there like that. leave <clears throat> about a sixteenth of an inch of paper at the edge of the double sided tape it's like making your own washi really um, so that it's easy to take the tape off then you cut little strips it's about an inch and a half I suppose like that and then what you do is 
straight back off and then make sure the holes nicely closed up so that your little lantern doesn't fall off the light and with a loop of wire plus the plus the double sided tape you can close up hold quite nicely and I'll just use a pokey tool inside there to lift that up and stick that properly down then you have a secure little lantern so there's three lanterns let's make another one We need <clears throat> one, two, and one for the end. Three. Um, as I say, if if you want it longer than that, you can have you can join an, another one to the end of it. For this, um, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to do the one length, and then you do exactly the same the other one and don't forget to turn them both on <laughs> when you when you want to use them so I don't think you can see here no, what I'll do is take them into a dark area and take some photographs of them so that you can see what they're like when they're lit up so <clears throat> let's just ooh, make one more Fold it up diagonally. First one way. Now I haven't folded that very neatly. So I'm just going to do it again. Ah, oh, there it is. Just flatten it out here. Fold it up neatly. Looks like my paper isn't quite square. So now I can fold it the other way. So then push these corners in, so you've got that shape, and just neaten it off so it's nice and tidy. Fold these bits down. Do the same again. Just trying to keep it as neat as possible. Pointy bits at the top. Hold your corners in, keeping 
reasonably straight. Pointy bits at the top. parchment or tracing tape or whatever you use folds so beautifully um, but then sometimes <laughs> you can't do what you want to do This little um, corner's come out, but it's easy enough to put back in again. There we go. And there's your little lantern. Again. strips so I've got two bits there actually bits of tape the better you get at making them that's all that I was getting again And then on the shoe. Put them where you want them. You can bend them so that they're all hanging. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to finish the last um, couple off. And um, I'll come back to you when I've finished. Um, what I'll do is uh, find somewhere um, as dark as possible, take some pictures, and then you can see how they how they look when they're lit up. But yeah, there's four, and I'll get five, six, seven on here. So I just need to do three more. So I'll come back to you when I've done those.